a place beyond belief is a perfect example of how I think and how I work. Um, so what I'd like to just do is to share with you the origins of the phrase. And in reflection, I think I'd leave it with you to contemplate what it might mean and how it might work here in uh, New Zealand. A lady is sitting in a New York subway carriage a week after the attack on the Twin Towers. She is tired, she's anxious, and like her fellow passengers, she's quite uncomfortable about being back at work. Sitting opposite her is a man, a Sikh man, wearing a bright orange turban. There is a blatant hatred from the other passengers in the train towards this man. And in response, he catches nobody's eye, but is looking at his shoes and is very quietly sobbing. This horror goes on for five or six minutes as the train goes from station to station. People get on and off. And then the time comes where he gathers his belongings, stands up, and moves towards the exit. Standing in the exit is a black woman with a newly born child in her arms. And without saying anything to anyone, the Sikh man goes into his pocket and pulls out some dollars and shoves the money into the clothing of the child. At this moment, the carriage bursts into tears. And the woman on reflection says to herself that for New York to get beyond the horrors of the attack, for the city to become the beautiful conurbation which we know it is, it had to find a place beyond belief. Thank you very much. <laughs>